On a sad note at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, allow me to retake that. The Kenya Broadcasting Corporation is mourning the death of one of its employees who lost his life in a grisly road accident Sunday evening. Simon Karuda, who until his death was a sign language interpreter at the corporation, succumbed to injuries after the Matatu vehicle he was traveling in was involved in a road accident at Brookside area along Bypass Road just a short distance from Nyahuru town. Nyahururu sub-county police commander Geoffrey Mayek says the driver of the minibus is still at large. Karuda, age 24, is eulogized by friends, colleagues and family as a dedicated soul, passionate, humble and God-fearing. May he so rest in everlasting peace. He's one guy who giving and sharing the responsibility was not a big deal to him. He would gladly take any responsibility given unto him without question. And I don't remember even uh, him murmuring in our meetings together, us working together, especially meeting early mornings during the news check pro program. It was like, ah, today's sports, Monday sports was his favorite. I feel heart saddened because it was just the other day when we were sharing our our comments about the news check and he told me he was discussing about the interaction and the how we can improve the the show so I feel so saddened because it was just the other day we were with him and may his soul rest in peace. May he rest in so. And as a news anchor, I can tell you for a fact, I do remember all the time that we shared here just before we did the news articles and all the jokes that we cracked before uh, we were on air. We truly, 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 we will truly miss him. And may he so rest in peace and God give the family comfort.